welcome to another episode of a Fujoshi Commentary, your go-to place for anime, manga, yaoi facts, recommendations, and reviews. All done by yours truly. So today I want to come on here and talk about how my experience at Six Flags, it has been about, I want to say, so other than the fact that I got super soaked, which is why my hair is super frizzy. And it looks really curly and weird. I had a fantastic time. I got on a few roller coasters, more than I expected to get on. And I got to get some cool stuff. Now, it wasn't a lot of stuff because, mind you, when you go to any amusement park, really, the things are extremely expensive. You have to have a lot of cash. It's even, I would say, more than items at conventions. It's, you're really, really steeping it up there. Now, that being said, when you do pay for things like drinks, and food passes and things, you are getting your money's worth, even if you do spend the money. They don't half-ass things because there's too much money on the line, and they do train their employees well for whatever they're supposed to be giving you. So, I got about two items from uh, Six Flags, and I don't really, they, one really pertains to anime, which is why I really wanted to show this, my Six Flags haul, and I do want to kind of, I guess, half promote a good friend of mine, because this, this was amazing. I know I could have just as easily drawn this, but it was so amazing, and I didn't think anyone would do it, and it was the fact that it wasn't really the standard, because everything that people were requesting was either Pokemon, Undertale, something very well known and a common theme for making uh, items like this. And it was an airbrush stand and as you all know airbrush you usually think of like graffiti, super blocky, urban letters onto hats, license plates, t-shirts and I wanted it on a bag, it was the little, the, the track bag, they came with it, you paid for the track bag, and then you paid for the designer's fee, and one of my good friends, uh, Cameron, was one of the artists who were spray painting, and I was just asking around, I got the picture up on my phone, and I was like, could you do this, this, and this for me, and I will actually show you what the picture was, so here it is. This is it. It's so nice. So nice. And it looks so beautiful. I think it's very adorable. I think it's just so adorable. And it's so cute. And it looks exactly like the picture. Like, if you look at this, you see the picture, and then you see this. It's exactly like it. And I just love it. And it was so good because he got it done within like 30 minutes. I thought it was going to take a little longer. The paint doesn't wear off like you can rub it on your finger. And there's no paint wearing off on it. And I just absolutely love it. And it was so sweet. So sweet. And it has my name at the bottom. Yay! And I also got another souvenir which I can actually use more than like a billion times. It is this cup. This Six Flags cup. Uh, for 2016 and this is the blue one so I can actually use it the other thing I want to discuss is it's kind of a mini rant I know everyone loves Pokemon Go I personally will seem like a hater and an outsider and a bitchy moron because I'm about to say what I'm about to say I think Pokemon Go is going to get really fucking annoying really fast why do I say this? I say this because Pokemon Go is starting to really get under, personally, my skin, and it's really bringing out the stupid. The latter part is kind of a given with anything that comes out, because people are always going to be stupid, and natural selection will take its course. Now, in the process, every time I go hang out with friends, no matter what friends it is, they are always now really on their phones looking at Pokemon Go. I will be having a conversation with one of my friends, and they will be on their phone looking for Pokemon. And I know I guess it's because, hey, you're not getting on the bandwagon. Well, for one thing, I can't get on the bandwagon, even if I wanted to get on the bandwagon, because simply, my phone does not have the capacity to hold this app and continue to have it, unless I deleted everything every single time I used it. Two, I don't really see the hype in playing this game as much. Obviously, I'm not that much of a Pokemon fan to understand it, but at the same time, it really irritates me 
when people are on their phones, like you're having a conversation. It's not even when they're just idle and not doing anything. You're talking to someone having a conversation and all you see them doing is this. They're like, oh, this is in here, this is this, let's go to this. And it's like, stop. I understand it brings people together, like when we were in Six Flags in line to get something to drink, to refill our cups, there were two beautiful young ladies behind us, they were talking to us, and they were acting like, you know, we're making friends, you know, starting conversation. But when you are hanging out with people, your friends, unless you are doing a Pokemon Go meetup with your friends, I think it is very rude, especially when someone is talking to you and communicating with you, to start getting on your app and acting like an asshole and focus solely on Pokemon Go. Like, goodness, I, I barely can stand when people are texting on the phone with someone at their friends or something and they're talking to me, much less you're on a game. Like, it can wait. It's getting really ridiculous. Like, people are pulling off clips. They're breaking into nuclear power plants, literally. A guy, which he is a daredevil to be fair, he broke into a nuclear power plant to search for Pokemon. Half of that story. He hooked for Pokemon and he was also wanting to see the remains of Fukushima's aftermath. Also, there are people falling off cliffs, literally, in the opening of the app. It says, watch for your surroundings in a picture of a person who is about to walk off a cliff in front of a monk. It's so dumb. And then we've got people like murder hoaxes and we've got people finding dead bodies, which isn't particularly uncommon, I guess. Because you're exploring, you're walking around, even if you were going for a walk or something with your dog, you would probably have the possibility of finding a body. But it's just so dumb. Like, not the app itself, but the people. Like, control yourselves. Please. Watch for your surroundings. Do not run into traffic if you see a Pokemon in the middle of the goddamn street. That's so stupid! Oh my god, do not text or Pokemon Go while driving! It's bad enough we, we're just barely getting to the concept of people, barely, barely getting to the concept of people to not text, to not text while driving, and maybe barely talk on the phone while driving. This is distracting. Now people are playing Pokemon Go while driving? I do not see how the developers did not see this coming. Like, it's just like, fuck it, we need money, we are doing this. It's, yeah. But I can't blame completely Nintendo and the game itself because people are stupid. And yes, natural selection will take its course. And it's very simple. But on a personal level, if you're hanging out with me and we're having a conversation and we're supposed to be having a good time, please, no, don't do that. That is the fastest way to irritate the fuck out of me. Do not search for Pokemon Go when we're having a conversation. Put the fucking phone down, talk, listen when I'm talking to you because I wouldn't do the same thing to you, and simply let's have fun and let's have a good day. This isn't anyone particular or anything. This is just something I've noticed with people I've talked to or people I've hung out with um, since Pokemon Go has started. And I've been kind of idle about it and just kind of tried to keep quiet, but it's starting to piss me off and it's becoming from zero to what the fuck, stop, and it's irritating me. Some good and bad moments, guys, but overall, I got a Naraku bag. It's so cute. It's just so cute. It's so Naraku. It makes me want to draw a yaoi ook of him, so it's so cute. It's just so cute. I love Inuyasha so much. Nobody knows that much. Hey, if you think I'm wrong and being just an angry bitch, let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure we could talk about it, and debate about it, and do something funny about it, you know? But if you've yet to do so, please like this video if you thought it was entertaining or you thought I was right about it. You can also let me know in the comments. Also, if you've yet to do so, please do subscribe to this lovely channel. Just do it, please, do it. In the name of Shia LaBeouf for Harambe, because you know Harambe would have wanted you to do that. Anyway, please, just subscribe. Subscribe.
once you subscribe, you get notified to all my videos and channels. I do yaoi countdowns, and I also do some top tens on anime that isn't yaoi and manga that isn't yaoi. I also like to do caricature analysis and anime reviews, or anime to manga to live action comparison reviews. And I also do little yaoi book bottles too. I'm getting that off the ground. I do try to make two videos every week unless I'm very busy, which I do try to keep you guys up to date on my social media accounts, which is linked in the description down below of all my social media outlets. No, I don't have a Snapchat. No, I probably won't get a Snapchat until they start doing an anime filter, and I mean a legit anime filter, not that wonky shit that they use in the Jimmy Fallon show. With that being said, guys, until next time, peace, love, and stay grooving, humans. Bye!